person's energy may or may not be with respect to you. A lot of these really mirror each other. So I'll mirror them back if I see that. And then we have the, your challenge this week with respect to your person or your relationship. Challenge, benefit, outcome. At the bottom of the deck, the overall energy that we have, Virgos, is the Seven of Wands. So this is a beautiful overall energy, especially as we kick off eclipse season. Because what this really means is that your guard is down. You're open. You're open to love. You're open to working things out. You're open to resolving fights. You're open to all sorts of things with respect to your person. Okay, You have a very open and welcoming energy. Your defenses are not up and you're not pushing back on anything. You're very welcoming and warm. Specifically with respect to taking action or them taking action. So that is a beautiful energy to, to move into this eclipse season, Virgos. Especially because you can tend to have your guard up and be self-critical and want things to go a certain way. And so the fact that you're just going to be open and allowing is a very beautiful energy. Okay, let's talk about you. We have the Fool reversed, Ace of Cups, Three of Swords reversed, and the Tower reversed. So what I see here... And I love the Fool reversed. It's a very interesting card to be reversed. At least I feel like it's interesting. And the reason being is it's really the linchpin between finishing something and starting something. Before you go to a new phase in anything, career, life, family matters, money, relationships, love, anything. Before you level up or get rid of somebody, before you make a major change, which is that deciding to move it something in a different direction at, at the world card, which is the 21st major arcana card. The action to do that is the first card, the major, the major arcana card, the magician. So there's this kind of lull point right in the middle, right between the 21st card and the first card, and that's the fool. That's the deciding point. It's the point where the decision has been made and you're ready to go. Action hasn't been taken yet, which we see when we get to the magician. But it's the decision. So when the fool is reversed, Virgos, it means that you're getting ready. You haven't fully made the decision yet. You don't know if you're ready yet, but you know you will be. Okay. It's brewing. It's like this rumbling... I always envision this card reversed. You know when you look at the, when there's a hurricane and they sh on the Weather Channel and they show it from the satellite view and you can see all the clouds spinning and uh, it's heading in a direction? That's this energy. It's, it's brewing. It's spinning. You know that decision's coming. Okay? And then we have, and look what he's looking at. He's getting ready. He's, he's getting ready to decide that he wants new love. Even if this is with an ex-partner, even if you're married and have been for 15, 20, 25 years or more, okay? And God bless you if you have been because that's a major feat these days to be married that long. That is a beautiful, unbelievable feat. And so even if you're married and have been for a long time, you're ready for this reconnection. You're ready for love. You're ready for those emotions to come back. All right? And again, we have this Three of Swords. So that, that talk, not again, but we have the Three of Swords, which really talks about either coming back together, and this can really be a temporary separation. If this is a heartbreak or a third-party situation, it can be a, a temporary. It doesn't mean permanent heartbreak. You're never talking to them again. You can view this as a temporary. It still sucks. It's not fun, but it can be temporary. So the fact that this is reverse indicates that there could be some coming back together of some sort. Even if this is coming back together to your own resolution that I want love, it might not be with this person. Maybe I want to try to get them back. Maybe I want to really reconnect with my husband because we've been fighting so long or maybe I'm going to forgive them for cheating, something. You're ready for new love, new emotions. You're deciding to get ready. You know it's coming. And then we have a tower reverse. So this indicates that this breaking down, which we see, this breaking down, it's already happened. Even if it's internally by yourself. This is 
okay, my love life stinks. How do I make these changes? What do I do? We had a big fight. How, the, how can I rectify this? We haven't been connected in a year. How do I rectify this? My sex life is, is crazy. Like I haven't even, we haven't had sex in five months. What do I do? So it's this thought process of how do we rebuild this foundation? Or how do I build this foundation in general in my love life? How do we do it? That's, and, and here we go, Virgos. We are entering eclipse season. These decisions are upon us. These emotions, they are upon us. Okay? The energy and effort, the willingness to put something back together or grow something stronger or start something new and make it strong, that energy is upon us. Let's talk about your person. Queen of Cups reversed. Okay, Could be a water sign, doesn't have to be. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. She is not, he or she, in their love life. Again, this doesn't have to be directed at you. Gosh, this card's so beautiful. Let's just look at this card for a minute. It's, I love this deck. This is the Aquarian Tarot deck. It's simple, but it's so beautiful. Okay, who is the Queen of Cups when she is reversed? Well, she can be so warm and loving and kind, right? And supportive and, and available. And she can be a, a true partner in crime that you can trust. But I'll tell you what. Here's the thing. I'm going to spend a little bit of time on this card. Upright and reversed. Here's the thing with the Queen of Cups. I'm laying it down upright just so I can talk about it. The thing with the Queen of Cups is she needs to feel wanted. She inserts herself and asserts herself to in initiate responses that make her feel loved. Okay, I'm not talking about being needy or clingy. She's very good. She's very perceptive with human behavior and emotions. She's very intuitive. So she know she has to know and she kind of makes it so she knows that she's safe and that she loves you and she'll take care of you. He or she, okay, watery energy. They'll take care of you. They'll make sure that they are available and they're you're they're your they're your biggest confidant. Your literal lifelong consigliere, as long as there's reciprocation, okay? Not even at the level that they give it, but there has to be some reciprocation so they are aware that you acknowledge their love, acknowledge their effort, and are grateful for it on some level, even if it's a minuscule level. I'm not talking about giving them breadcrumbs, but they have to know that what they are doing and this love they're sharing is safe. Okay, this is very important to watery signs, especially the Queen of Cups. And the thing is, the tables can turn at the blink of an eye based on the external factors of her, of him. She doesn't turn the tables and get vindictive. She does not gossip and, and uh, get crazy with her emotions, okay? Like a cancer person, they can, get, they can get crazy, right? And you're like, wow, you're nuts. But they're not. That is in response to the reaction that they need and want when they don't get it or when there's a direct slap in the face to all the love and appreciation and guidance and support that they have given you, okay? She goes postal, when her love and affection and complete utter support, okay, she is your biggest supporter, he or she. They will be with you. They will walk through fire with you. But the second they see you doing something sneaky, it's all external based, okay? She doesn't just get crazy. It's because things on the external factors of the relationship force... Uh, quote unquote, force her to do that, her or him. Okay, so what I'm talking about with this person, again, where you don't have to be talking about a water sign, but we can. But what this is, is an energy. So this, you may be doing something, this, this lack of decision maybe, okay? Something happened. It's possible that this lack of decision, even though you're preparing yourself, because you're Virgo, you need to be prepared. So what you are doing is preparing yourself to make the decision, but they are not responding well to that. They need 
more answers now or they need something sooner or they're if you're quiet and in your space and figuring stuff out which yes they should be respecting yes they should be but it still brews emotion in their soul okay and the longer it takes the more they think something's wrong but it's not them being crazy it's based off of their surroundings that's a very important aspect to recognize when the about the queen of cups in general and especially when they're reversed okay all of their fury and anger that can easily easily in five seconds be switched around by taking care of their emotions the way they take care of yours even if it's on a smaller level okay nine of wands reversed again they're they're open okay they're 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 not feeling kind of brow beaten they're not feeling tired and exhausted from this battle they're just feeling hurt but they have endless amounts of energy to continue to put into it they're not getting tired by the fight they just need something from you anything okay. whether you think that's mature or not whether you think that's the right way to approach or not that's who they are that's how that's how they operate okay that's a watery aspect Justice and Knight of Wands reversed. They will get the response in time. Okay? Justice, quote unquote, will be served. They'll get their answers and uh, they might get other people involved, but they'll get their answers and then they might start to feel uh, okay. But the thing is too, this Justice card is they could be trying to get justice because this is taking so long. And take your time. You don't have to hurry and uh, appease them. Not at all. But you should understand where they're coming from and why they're acting like this. At least understand that. So they may be working to get some sort of justice. Okay? They can be gossipy. They can be very manipulative if they need to be. But again, it's based off of external environment. Based on how they see it. Knight of Wands reversed. Okay? They want to stay. Knight of Wands is the card of I think I think it's a Sagittarius very explorative and uh, loves traveling loves new experiences blah 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 okay in and out of people's lives they can be in and out of people's lives Sagittarius if this is you know or that type of energy can be hard to pin down in a relationship and a commitment reverse this is what this is saying about them okay they don't want to be in and out of your life they want to be in your life they want you in their life. They want to support you. They want to be your confidant. They want to be in your life. Okay? And you're figuring out if you want that. Completely fine. Okay, where's this challenge? We have the Knight of Cups. This challenge is causing this. Okay? This challenge that's causing this. None of this is bad. It's just the situation. Is the Knight of Cups reversed? So actions are not being taken yet why well obviously we haven't made a decision yet and that's okay actions are not being taken emotional approaches are not being taken initiations not being taken that's the challenge that's what's causing this okay benefit is the six of pentacles reversed the benefit is that it's reversed the benefit is that there is a realization probably on both of your parts that right now this week there's not an equal exchange there's no equality right now and again that's okay you are getting ready to make the decision once you make the decision Virgos you're all in but you got to be ready you have to feel confident in your decision and that's fine so this will just stay in this pending mode but the good news is that you're right you know that there's an inequality in exchange they know there is an inequality in exchange, but you're both reacting to that completely differently. The outcome, though, is the five of wands, so there's a battle at bay. There's a battle at bay. The longer you take, just be aware. Okay? They're feeling that space, and they don't like it. There's a battle at play. It doesn't have to be a huge battle, though. Okay? Based on once this decision's made, the battle... It can continue to get worse and worse and worse and worse and worse the longer that you take. Just be aware of that. But it, this is kind of a lighthearted battle, but it's still, uh, you know, a battle. They're still fighting. They're still pushing and pulling. Okay. 
The good news is that throughout the week, you're having this sense of really needing to open up and here you are, you're, you know it's not happening, you know it, it, it needs to, it's in the air. You just aren't ready to fully make that decision yet and that's okay. 